Virtual Lacrosse Showcase presented by Axe. Here tonight from Potomac, Maryland, Klein Alumni Stadium for the Georgetown Prep Hoyas getting set to take on the Bullis Bulldogs here in this rivalry matchup between the two as we are just northwest of the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. Welcome, everyone. Good to be with you here tonight. Mike Corey talked about Isaiah Rose right off the bat. Well, Coach Balestri has said one way they can control the game is to look at this play. Right off the oh, bat, terrific. and it's Colin Burns who scores it for the Hoyas. Look out. Well, I was saying how important the faceoffs will be for Bullis. They lost this first one. Isaiah Rose picks it up. There's the older Horns, Horning, excuse me, throwing a nice ball to number zero, Colin Burns, and a very quick tally for the little Hoyas. Three weather. I don't know what's been going on the last couple of weeks. I feel like you talk to anybody, it's been raining every single day. And it's cold. It's a very raw, what a shot. Well, when we showed the Georgetown prep roster, we highlight the shot clock resets. We're playing under NCAA rules. The shot clock resets to 60 seconds. And firing away and scoring for Bullis is Ben Josie. One of the six seniors being honored tonight before the game, and Bullis is on the board. Look a little bit. This is Kabiri behind the cage here for Georgetown prep, the Princeton commit. Feeds it, shot, Burns, look out. That happened fast. If it had been on cage, I think it had gone in. That one does go in. That's Owen Horning who scores for Georgetown Prep off the restart. Well, the Horn for a goalkeeper, that just shows a lot about what Jack Cass is going to bring to Marquette next year. Back behind the net, Kabiri, oh, somehow he finds an opening on that angle and scores. So far in this first quarter. Shot clock at 25, Burns spins out of a double team and he feeds it in the middle for Arata, who scores. Everybody getting involved here early for Georgetown Prep. Lose here tonight, they're gonna be the four seed and they'll have to play the first day on Friday, which is the first day. There's another goal before we, uh, while we're standing there talking for about two seconds, all of a sudden the ball's zipping across the field to Owen Horning, the next tremendous hustle by Arata. Chased that guy up the field for 40 yards and got a nice check in there. Birds in front, oh, that's pretty. Horning on the goal, Larry Horning from Colin Burns. Kabiri's covered by a shorty behind the goal, and Bullis is trying to shut him off and not giving him a chance to catch that. Oh, oh. and Horning. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. Well, that's Owens, the third goal. His I mean, he's pretty athletic. I mean, we've seen it already, and, and he said, Yurik did, he says, he's the real deal. And that's a great get from Marquette. Oh, man, another goal put up and in by Georgetown Prep. And the onslaught is on here. They have scored. I'm very impressed with Tommy Arata. Colgate's getting a good lacrosse player. He's put on a good show, as has Kabiri. And I really, most of the Hoyas were watching on offense. Nate, seen over the years and this year too. I mean, it's a really good team out there. They're just being kind of one-sided here tonight. Another goal goes through. And then Kabiri saying he must have heard me talk about him dropping his stick a little bit too much, but watch what he does. At the same time, you know each other so well, right? You have that ability and that camaraderie, and then you take it to the next level. And another shot to score coming through this time. Wyatt Bowman for 55. So Set the shot clock as long as you've maintained the ball, you know, off of out of bounds. Seven of the 13 goals have been assisted here tonight. Here's another one, count it for Kabiri. He adds another to his list. That's his fourth of the night. Well, I talked about institutions that do play lacrosse. Here's Kabiri. Walker Watch on the shot. Stick. Yep, fakes a pass, then he gets it over to his teammate, and that's Horning who scores. Owen Horning. How about if you're the Princeton Tigers next year? You got that guy, Burns, who throws the pass to Horning, and he scores. Well, I 
have a feeling if, uh, and I left at halftime when they were ha hanging on to a one goal lead against Episcopal. There's Kiernan McCleary with his second goal. And the facilities are phenomenal. You know, everybody likes the bling. And so, you know, brand new stadium. We, we got one there. Who's that, Benny? Tom Petty. Tommy, Tom Petty, the 10th grader. Played for next level guy and a good one. He's a lefty. He's going to have a bright future there. He uh, started to emerge late in the season. He's one of the left-handed middies that we have that we use. And you see right there, got him on a little in and out dip move, fired a rocket, had a big goal last week at the end of the game. Well, two things. I just counted. There's 17 sophomores on Bullis' roster. Yeah. There's only yeah. five seniors on the roster that are playing because yeah. Tucker Witten's staff at Duke and his mom happens to be the Duke head volleyball coach. Jake Zamoyski is in goal here for Bullis. But this goal goes through for Georgetown Prep, and they add another now. It's 18 to 2. Well, we talked a second ago about one of the most effective ways to Bart. Here's Gallagher playing some good defense. Hey, go right out there. Just a couple seconds left, and that's how it's going to end up. Georgetown Prep storming the field with a majorly convincing win over their rival Bullis here tonight, 18 to 2.